it seems these days it's all about coding models with reasoning we have been covering various coding and math models with reinforcement learning from various providers and this time nvidia has come up with the new version of their nemotron model this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel the thing is that all of these math and coding reasoning models with a lot of variants have been an active area of research for months and months now the previous models were primarily focused on enhancing short chain of thought which is typically acquired through pre-training and supervised fine-tuning but now we see that after the advent of DeepSeq, OpenAI O1 and various other models, long chain of thought reasoning which is acquired through large scale reinforcement learning has emerged as a key driver of the remarkable progress in the reasoning capabilities of frontier LLMs. This is where NVIDIA is trying to innovate. What they have done here is they have taken a step further by integrating supervised fine tuning and reinforcement learning, probing their training dynamics and the synergy between them to provide a holistic perspective. We are going to install this new version of Ace Reason Nemotron 7 billion parameter on our local system and we will check out how exactly this works. So let's get started. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. And I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM, courtesy masked compute. I am going to start downloading the model with this command. And if you are also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to masked compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of a GPU. So please do check them out. Also, the tool which I'm going to use in order to install and serve this model is VLLM with Uba Booga. If you don't know what that is, just go to my channel and search with VLLM and you should be able to find um, a video which will enable you to install this from scratch. I already have it installed. Also, if you want to learn about the previous versions of Timotron, I have been covering them for a long time now. So they come in various sizes 14 billion um also 7 billion and even larger as you can see here and there are heaps of them over the course of last uh, few months and year this new model which is 1.1 is um, a step further from nemotron 1 which was also in 7 billion uh, parameter model also this is not a model which has been um pre-trained from scratch this is a fine-tuned version now also i want to share one more thing is that if you look at these long chain of thought models they kind of display the similar pattern they take a detailed step-by-step -step approach with reasoning and thinking process before giving a final answer like showing all the work in a math problem or a coding problem so instead of just jumping to the answer the model explains each step of its logic checks its work considers alternatives and walks through the problem thoroughly and we will check it out shortly as the model is almost downloaded while it does that let me also quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. The model is downloaded. Now let's serve it on our local system. And this is going to start the text generation uh, web UI. And the model is now being served. Let me access it in the browser at port 7860. There you go you can check it in the model and it is ready which means it is loaded now one thing you need to remember for nvidia's nemotron model is that they are quite sensitive to the system prompt so we need to set the system prompt for that simply go to this parameters on the left hand side so in the parameters you need to make sure the temperature is set to 0.6 top p is 0.95 and then in the instruction template you have given it this custom system message plus in the chat 
tab you have started the greeting with think if you set these values this model is going to perform optimally otherwise you might not see best of the results because as i said these nvidia's models are quite sensitive to these settings okay so everything is ready let me make more space here and let me start testing it so first up i'm going to test it with match because that is what i have set the system prompt to and this is an interesting thing they have a different one for the coding one so what i'm going to do i'm going to give it a real world problem and i will make it slightly bigger so that you should be able to read what i'm writing now this problem is as i said a calculus based optimization problem that involves finding critical points evaluating the function and solving uh, transcendental equations perfect for uh, testing this model in my opinion and i'm asking it that a pharmaceutical company is developing a new drug the concentration of the drug in the bloodstream follows the equation this and drug is considered effective when concentra concentration is this so i'm checking different points in this concentration so let me run this let's check out the thinking process i'm just waiting for it to start thinking let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time and it has started thinking so if you remember i mentioned earlier this is what happens in these uh, long chain of thought models where they take their sweet time in checking out different stuff so instead of just jumping to the answer the model is trying to explain each step of its logic and checking its work now i'll just go down just to sh show you how exactly it is thinking so you see it is checking all the probabilities considering alternatives and walking through the problem very thoroughly and that is how it can solve the harder problems more accurately than the traditional models while it runs let me also quickly show you the vram consumption and there you go so it is consuming over 15 gig of vram which is a standard for these models and just on a lighter note sometime i just forget to show the vram there are a couple of um, viewers who really get very upset whether i show you the model or not i mean vram consumption showing is must it seems anyway so it is still thinking and this is what we call test time scaling as i have shown you in this video which i would highly encourage you to watch that uh, and i'm surprised that there are not much views on this one because i believe this actually is <clears throat> quite important in order to learn the working of these new models the model is still thinking it's been around 25 minutes but you know what it is thinking in a very very fine way let me show you one example so you see it is calculating some of the times here <clears throat> uh, and it has come up within its own equation it is using taylor series here and then this is where it has um, done some approximation once that's done this is a solution now it was able to do all the times in its own equation from there it is now evaluating that okay now the drug is in effective but non-toxic range during two intervals and there are various combinations which it has already tested and now it is proceeding uh, with new different methods now it is going with newton raphson method for better accuracy so you see whatever probability gives it more reward um, it just sticks to it and then go from there but it doesn't give you the answer straight away and this is really really uh, i would say fantastic to see in terms of how exactly it is mimicking human brain to think like this but of course human brains don't think for uh, i mean unless you are a genius or something like newton you don't think for for you know with this focus with this intensity for hours and hours so let's see how long this runs and now it's been around 40 minutes and it is now starting to come to terms with its final answer and you can see that there are few of them which it has produced in different angles and but it is still evaluating it 
there you go it is still evaluating the final answer and now it is telling us okay this should be presented as like this so and then it is again, again reverting back to the boxed ones and eventually after 45 minutes it is able to give us the answer which is this and that is totally correct but took a long time so as i have been saying that if you are looking to solve real world very very complex problems then these long chain of thought reasoning uh, models make sense but now look how um, evolved this has become now just a 7 billion parameter model is doing this long chain of thought so accurately without um, hallucinating which is really amazing so that's it let me know what do you think if you like the content please like the video and share it and if you haven't subscribed already please do so as it helps thank you very much